Do you feel afraid to speak up? Do you feel afraid to share your opinion? Because what will other people say? Do you feel you could use a boost of confidence, but you see other people that are so successful and they're so filled with confidence and that's not you. You will never learn. Well, guess what? I have great news for you. You can build your confidence. You can boost your confidence. And I'm going to share in this video three steps, three simple, practical steps that you can start implementing today so that you can boost your confidence. I'm so happy you found this channel because I want you to be inspired and create the life that you love. I want you to have the confidence to step out of there and shine inside and out, feel happy inside and show it to the world. I want you to achieve what you love. And my channel is all about that. I help ambitious people to do just that, live the life they love with confidence, with clarity, with taking next steps all the time. Confidence is one of them. Make sure, by the way, you subscribe to my channel, hit that red button and also that notification bell so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. So by the end of this video, you will know three key steps so that you can start building your confidence. Confident people, they are more successful. Confident people, they say no when it's appropriate. Confident people say yes to opportunities. Confident people have goals, make better decisions, have better relationships. They feel happier inside and outside. And you may see people that show confidence and you may think they're so lucky. They have all the confidence. Well, guess what? It's not luck. Gary Vee would say luck is a loser word. There is no such thing as luck. No, they had to build it. I know all about it because I researched confidence a lot. I studied psychology. I wrote a book about it. Awaken your confidence. I'm creating more and more courses to boost your confidence because confidence is a key to success. But in all my research and also in myself, I learned that it's like a muscle that you can grow. There's no such thing as being born all muscled and toned. There's no such thing as going to the gym once and then coming out and all muscled and toned. No, confidence is exactly the same. It's a skill that you can grow by taking some steps, by taking some actions, and then repeating it. But I'm going to share you three very, very specific steps. So it will make all sense by the end of this video. And I know what I'm talking about because I used to be that person with very low self-confidence. I used to be so shy. I never spoke up. I used to be sitting in the back of the classroom, afraid of what other people would think of me. I used to work in corporate. And I was afraid to step up in a meeting. I was afraid to present. Oh my gosh, public speaking? No way. I was terrified when I had to speak up in front of my colleagues or show some slides or a presentation. I was afraid in meetings when somebody asked my opinion, because who am I? What will others say? I was constantly jealous about others, you know, seeing their successes. But I learned to get rid of all of that to get rid of my fears because I used these steps that I'm going to share with you over and over and you get better and better and quicker and quicker. And then at one point it's like, yeah, man, and you're going to show others how they can be more confident. So number one, surround yourself with supportive people, surround yourself with confident people. Why is this so important? Because, it's actually very simple. Positive attracts positive, negative attracts negative. Confident people attract confident people. No confident people or less self-confident people attract the same, right? So what happens is like you feel a low self-confidence and when you surround yourself with the same type of people, how can you then boost and grow your confidence? The moment I started shifting and selecting other people in my tribe, that's when I felt I was growing. When I stayed in my little bubble of comfort and with the little bubble of comfort people around me, I stayed in that bubble. Nothing would change. But guess what? Comfort is the enemy of change. And so I had to change my tribe. It doesn't mean I had to get rid of all the people in my circle. No but I did make a lot of changes and I started slowly by 
saying no to certain people or spending less time with certain people. And you're going to get what I mean when I give you this example. You know some people in your life that when you talk to them, they're always complaining and they're negative and you spend an hour with them talking and you go home and you're like, Phew, you feel like your energy is drained. You feel negative. You feel like, I don't know, like suddenly in your life, things are bloomy and gloomy and mm. But if you talk to some people that, you know, those people that sometimes you talk to and you feel inspired and you feel motivated and you go back home and you're like, yeah, what a good day. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling good. You know, those people. Or when you feel down, you talk to this particular person that lifts you up every single time. You know, they give you energy, they motivate you. And people would me like, you know, oh, come on, Rachel, you can do this. And I'm really, you know, happy for you. And, and maybe you can do this or do that. And just, they boost you. They, they take you out of your comfort. And the more of those people you have in your life, the more you will boost your confidence. So what I want you to do, and this is not something, it's something you can start today, but it's a process that you have to really pay attention to. So if you start today by looking in your circle, like, who are you talking to and who are the ones that give you energy that you feel uplifted when you talk to them, that you feel really happy when you talk to them. And who are those people that you feel like, Oh, really? Wow. You know what I mean? I call them the positive spirits or the energy vampires. So I want you to spend less and less time with those energy vampires and more and more like say, no, I can't make it today. No, you know, I'll, I, maybe another time. No, I'm too busy. Try to say no to those and try to spend more time with those people that give you energy. And guess what's going to happen? Your vibe attracts your tribe. Let me repeat, your vibe attracts your tribe. That means that if you have a vibration to attract more of those positive spirits, because you yourself feel more positive, you will get more of those in your life. The more you're boosting your confidence, the more confident people you will attract. The more confident people you attract, the more you will boost your own confidence. It's a win, 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 win. So start selecting the people around you that will boost your confidence. All right. Step number two, your past does not equal your future. Your past does not equal your future. What do I mean? I'm going to give you an image. I love images. You are sitting in a car driving and you have that rear view mirror, right? So once in a while you look in the rear view mirror to see who's behind you and what cars are behind you, right? But if you stick to looking behind you, what's going to happen? You're going to crash, right? So you have to keep your eyes on the road, driving towards your destination. You don't know your destination yet, but you're driving towards it. Once in a while, you look at that rear view mirror and you look at the past. I want you to realize that the rear view mirror is like your past. You're looking behind you. That's your past. That's where you're coming from. And it's important to once in a while look in that rear view mirror because you have to know where you're coming from. Why are you making these decisions? Why are you now in this job? Why are you now in this relationship? Because of decisions you made in the past. So it's important to know where you're coming from and what your past is. But your past does not equal your future. It also means that if in the past you had some bad decisions, some bad relationships, some bad jobs, some, some you know, things that you may regret, that's all right. But your past is not your future. So if you had failures in the past, doesn't mean it will fail again. If I'm divorced and I had, well, I am actually, and I, I, and I think, okay, well, I'm divorced, so now I can never have a relationship again. No way. I know and I learn from my past. I know who I like, what I like in a relationship, what I don't like in a relationship, what, and I will make better choices. I had jobs that I hated. But I learned so much. I learned, hey, that's something I would want to do again. And that's something I don't want again. And I learned to get rid of those jobs, by the way, because I'm an entrepreneur. So I look back and I'm like, wow, you know, I did that and that and that. So I have all the experience, which is great. But now I know I'm an entrepreneur and I want to go for it. And I want to live the life that I love, doing all the things that I love and not the things from the past that I don't like. But I learned because you learn from your failures. Your failure is feedback. And if you don't, if you want to know more about that, watch my video, you know, um, get rid of the fear of failure. 
but moving forward you want to drive forward you want to go to your future your new future the the, the life that you love all right and you want to grow your confidence so realize your past low confidence that's all right now you're moving towards your destination with a lot of confidence good so remember that whatever you do whatever decision you make don't think like yeah you know what i've always been you know low self-esteem low confidence blah 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 no that's the past go to your new future with confidence with everything that you do remember that all right number three stop comparing yourself to others stop comparing yourself to others it's so easy okay i get it we're human beings it's super easy you take your phone you scroll down and you just how can you not compare right you go to social media it's like all these beautiful relationships and holidays and pictures and beautiful bodies and and success stories and and then you're like oh really so you compare i get it it's 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 human nature but do you want to live a life comparing yourself to somebody else why would you is this an identical twin that you're comparing yourself to why would you compare yourself to somebody else it's like comparing app and apples and oranges even if it would be an identical twin even if those twins they have separate experiences separate ideas separate separate life they're not i i mean they're not they don't that even comparing that doesn't make sense do you want to live in the shadow of somebody else do you want to grow old and then looking back and thinking oh yeah i lived the life that they wanted from me or he or she wanted from me or do you want to look back when you grow old thinking yeah i lived the life that i wanted the best quote i can give you is the one from coco chanel who said beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself and i can i like to give it a little twist beauty begins the moment you start telling your own story it's time for you to realize that you are unique and with a low confidence it happens so often that we think you know what they have that and and i want that house too and i want that career and but they're so lucky and i'm not again luck is a loser word there's no such thing as luck everybody puts effort into it all those people with confidence they put effort into it here i am standing doing a youtube movie for you do you think i had this confidence years ago no way but i took the steps and i stopped comparing myself to others and instead of being jealous of others and being in a state of lack like i want and i want and i want because that's a state of lack i'm like hey here i am and i'm unique and i have skills and talents that i want to show so i want you to look at yourself and tell yourself i am unique you know whether you're a mom you can be a good mom a good sister a good husband a good brother you can be good at cooking at writing at at i don't know sports there's a ton of things that you are good at you are unique so realize that instead of looking at others outside of you all the time look at yourself so step one is be aware that you're comparing yourself all the time and stop that stop comparing yourself the moment you see oh you know i want that too that's when you're comparing yourself you shout to yourself stop stop it and then you look at yourself like holding up a mirror you look at yourself like yeah i i'm just me i'm going to start telling my own story i have my unique skills i made a course about self-confidence i wrote a book about self-confidence and i i share a lot more details and a lot more practical hacks and i just gave you these three now to get you started but i will put all the links right below to my book to my course so you can boost your self-confidence because remember self-confident people they achieve so much more happiness fulfillment whatever your goal is or your dream is you can achieve it and i just i want you to know that you can achieve your dream i'm doing it i'm helping my clients to boost their confidence because with confidence you can have more success be happier be more fulfilled have better relationships it's healthier less stress less frustration i promise you all of that is true and it can be true for you take the steps or talk to me comment below let me know 
I just realize that you are not alone and all those people have done it before you. I'm helping people. I did it myself and you can too. That dream life, shining inside and showing the world outside that you are there, that you are worthy of being here. You are worthy of being here. You deserve a life that you love. And I want that for you so, so much. All right. So take a look at the links below because I have a free um, PDF that is to shift your mindset will really help you to it's a worksheet that you can use and you can also talk to me so I will put the link to book a call with me if you're really ambitious and you want to just make the change in your life and you just don't really know how let me help you with that clarity and next step but remember this you are unique you deserve to be happy and fulfilled make sure you subscribe to my channel hit that red little button the notification bell check the free gifts below because i made them just for you and i want you to grow and shine and be confident you got this